this is going to be a dual actually triple boot um, I'm going to keep Vista Windows 7 I'm going to get rid of 2008 R2 it's a trial version so I'm going to get rid of that uh, anyway you want to boot to the CD-ROM um, it's actually a DVD drive anyway select that it's going to start booting to the DVD right now it's loading files it took about 20 seconds uh, 20 seconds about two minutes to load the files first splash screen um, all English US of course install now Setup is starting was about um, three minutes. Then you get to the screen. Uh, it's license, accept it. We do custom. All right, uh, this is free space that I have. I just left it free. Uh, I'm gonna probably change that. Could use some more space. Forgot about it actually. This one is um, Windows 7. This one is uh, 2008 R2, and this one is Vista. Before I started the process, I looked at uh, my computer uh, in Windows 7 and, uh, you know, determined which uh, partition was which. This one, of course, is used, used for storage right now. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write over um, 2008R2 server, advanced server, or actually enterprise version. And then you just, uh, just want to make sure this is right. Okay. Click Next. And uh, now it's starting to copy the files and go through the process. Okay, it's restarting now. And uh, that took about about seven or eight minutes, actually. Got to see what the boot screen looks like. I'm trying to show you um, anything that's uh, different with the installation. Okay, it doesn't show you the boot screen yet. Let's see. It flashed the boot screen for a second and had four operating systems on there. It let 2008 R2, the server edition that I wrote over, it stayed there, but that's okay. I guess I could just delete it from the uh, the boot INI. All right, it just rebooted again. All right, it got rid of um, 2008R2. That's great. So basically, you use your mouse, and I'm going to, of course, select uh, the Windows Developer, which is actually Windows 8. Okay, I named it uh, Windows underscore 8. Do it right there. Um, I'm going to customize this. It's my first time. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share or connect right now I'm gonna select no again I'm just gonna stick with the defaults because I wanted to check out what the defaults were basically uh, it's asking if you want to install uh, the latest hardware uh, apps uh, you can get metadata too. Uh, smart screen filter, I'm going to keep that on uh, and for internet and windows. Uh, this is uh, web content, apps, uh, spy net, uh, just stuff that comes uh, with the OS. I don't feel like reading all that stuff. Okay, on the lower left, uh, I put my email address in, but on the bottom left, um, I don't want to log on to uh, Windows Live ID, so I'm just going to click that. And then um, I want to use a local account. Let's fill out the uh, information, username, password. Finalize in the settings. All 
right, and that takes the, that's about it. Uh, here's your desktop. This is the uh, start button. I guess this is Internet Explorer. And that concludes this video. Good luck. Uh, all the uh, splash, pa splash pages are uh, on this video, and good luck installing it. One quick thing, old tab, the alt button and the tab button. That's your friend to get in and out of certain things. Just